I was talking to uh, an ex-pro football player yesterday. Um, I'd say in his early 40s, good-sized guy. Um, mm-hmm. uh, played D-line. He's about, I would say, Mike's about, what do you think, 6'4", six, 6'5"? Six, Mike, on the incline, when we went back at the end of the workout, Mike used to play, yeah, he was a D-line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good-sized guy, right? Yeah, he's he's three fifteen, carries it well. Yeah, so I don't. I think he's definitely six five six six. Wow, early forties, about three fifteen, but carries it well. But could, he and I agreed that I thought a good weight for him would be two fifty. Now, it, it was surprising somebody at such a high caliber of, of life, financially, uh, business wise, athletically, knew so little about nutrition. Uh, so he went in, uh, I guess he got some blood work done, but this is from the family doctor, obviously. Mm-hmm. I call mm-hmm. that pre- whatever that would be considered. Yep. Um, and he said his creatins came back uh, high. And he said, the doctor said, hey, be really, really careful with your protein intake. And I said, yeah, that's your family doctor. Yeah. Because understanding one main thing is that he takes in 60 grams of protein a day. Now, if nobody understands that. 60 grams, that's it? 60 grams for anybody that's here would be two protein drinks. Now, yeah. understand he is a good 50 pounds bigger than I am. He's wow. a huge human, but he's taken in 60 grams. So now what you got is you got the breakdown of the muscle from him working out. Mm-hmm. Absolutely nothing to recover off of because mm-hmm. he's not in any way doing a proper nutrition to where his muscles can recover. Right. You know, you can sleep all you want, but 60 grams of protein is not retaining anything. Damn, dude. That's a, that's pretty low. So what would you say to him about the creatins, his family doctor saying, listen, you need to br- you need to take down your protein more? I mean, yeah. I don't think, that, I don't think that's correct. I, I mean, I, I, listen, I'm not his doctor, so I'm not going to say, oh, your doctor should have said this or that. Like, just don't do that. But, I'll say that. But yeah, but at this point, I'll say the doctor's I, an absolute idiot. I'm saying for what we would come from, we would say no, that's that's absolutely false. Like, listen, 60 grams of protein is very, it, it's 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 not going to do anything. It, it's a drop in, the, in in a bucket, you know, for him especially if he's that big. I mean, obviously, listen, we need to support the muscle that's there. We need to get enough protein in our diet to be able to to satisfy that muscle as far as that goes. Now, you know, going overload like three to one, basically, I, I don't think that's a good idea. You know, if he's having these issues. But then we need to talk about, listen, did he train before he went in and got this blood test? Did he not train? Did he drink water? Did he not drink water? I mean, these are things that can affect it. But I I mean, listen, that's the first thing they say to people that have kidney issues. You better get off red meat, right? But when you start, and this is so crazy, when you start looking, because I had to look through all this because my dad's stage four. So I'm like, all right, so let me look at what they can eat. And in there, it says meat. It's like, it's crazy. So it's really contradictory, contradicting to what the provider says, to what the pamphlet says. I think honestly, everybody's different. And like me, I can eat meat all day. That's not gonna affect my kidney levels like that. Some people it might, I'm not gonna speak on everybody, but majority of people, I don't think it's because of the protein intake that they're having. And it, there's some other problem that's going on that's damaging their kidneys and really putting stress on it. Like unless they're being excessive in protein eating, right? And that's it. I mean, I, I can't see that ever happening just because the protein intake is there. Unless it's an extreme amount of protein every single day. And I don't think he was doing that. Yeah, I said to him, uh, first off, understand that you, you train like an animal. You train all the time. So that's right. going to throw off the numbers as right. well. Also, you're not recovering. So you're going to have muscle breakdown more than the typical guy. Also, yeah. if a doctor goes off of his his book knowledge and not the individual himself right it's not a good doctor no. if it's if it's a doctor that was actually there going listen i know you i know that you train well i know that you're doing all this stuff let's take a look at your nutrition and see what you're doing there i'm not the guy to talk to but let's go do that for a month and come back and do another blood test yeah um and that's what i said to him. i said listen it's great that your doctor tells you this, but you're taking a verbatim and then you're, then you're going off of that. You're going to lower your protein from 60 grams to 30 grams. How, how does that even work? 
it's a great job. This is you're you're listening to him, and this is what you're gonna do. Instead of you going, listen, don't go to him. Go to like a provider, like yeah. take medical. And I said yeah. that. I gave him the number. Yeah. And I said, go over there, do your blood work, but then take responsibility, change your nutrition. And then go back and see what it looks like in a month. And then go back another month after that. I said, it's it's yeah. a cool discovery when you find out what your body can work off of and how you change it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't it's be just true. a pilot, right? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, honestly, like, what was his previous blood test at? Like, you know, because is this something that's just an anomaly? Just popped up on this one. Has it been previous? Where's it been? Is it trending up, trending down? This is stuff that I like to tell people. And, you know, I tell them, like, after, if they don't, then I'm like, hey, from this point forward, start taking a copy of all your blood tests and hold on to them so you can kind of see where it's at, what it's been doing, you know, from that point to wherever you're at. So, yeah, definitely need to look at it. And you definitely need somebody that is trained to look at something like this. I mean, listen, you give a general practitioner, you show them ALT and ASC liver functions and they're in triple digits, they're going to freak out. They're going to freak out. Us, we see it. It happens. It is what it is. We can fix it. Liver is a little bit easier for us to fix than kidneys uh, as far as levels, but you know, it, it is what it is. And doctors have no training in nutrition unless they went by themselves and done their own course. But through med school, they have no, no training whatsoever on nutrition at all. So at that point, like I really wouldn't be listening to a doctor on how to eat, especially if they don't look the part.